Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we've gotten a lot of experience in adding rational expressions, hmm, let's see if we can solve this problem. What we need to do here is solve this equation for r, not 1 over r, but r. And how do we do that? Well, first of all, on the right side, we have what we would call two rational expressions. And in order to add those, we need to find the common denominator. So let's use that very same approach. So what we can say here is that 1 over r is equal to, and we're going to leave ourselves a little bit more room. So we can multiply both denominators by the proper factor to make them common. So first of all, notice that we're missing an r2 here. So I'm going to multiply the left side here by r2, which means we need to multiply the numerator by r2 as well. And here we're going to multiply this by r1, which means we're going to multiply the numerator by r1 as well. Notice the denominators are now exactly the same, and we can add the two rational expressions on the right side, the equal sign. So we end up with 1 over r is equal to r2 plus r1, all divided by the common denominator of r1 times r2. And then all we have to do is take the inverse of both sides, which means that we have r over 1 equals r1 r2 divided by r2 plus r1 and finally we can drop the 1 here we don't need it and we can or change the order of the denominator and write r is equal to the product r1 r2 over the sum r1 plus r2 and there you go that is how we solved for the variable r now it turns out that this is a very famous equation that we will use when we take physics especially when we deal with electronics and adding up resistances in circuits. That's where this equation comes from. But at least we need to have the algebraic skills in order to go from this form to this form. This is what we call the product over the sum form of that particular equation. And that is how it's derived.